explain yes. what you do? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, everyone's having a fun time here. Yeah, we're we're having a good time. We talked about education earlier in the day, talking yeah. about in Roblox, the gamification, um, bringing to life AI and how the world is going to understand AI. Mm -hmm. So we're doing it with Bin, um, understanding Sophia Verse, and we're bringing that to life in Roblox. Roblox is for everyone who doesn't understand. Roblox is a game platform for kids, 70 million kids a day. And uh, we're basically taking that and bringing it to life, almost like a 3D Tetris for Jam Galaxy and having AI and music come to life in game form on Roblox. And that's what we're doing with Ben Gertzel, yeah. Oh, okay, that's very good. Yes. So, uh, Jam Galaxy, what do you do with a Jam Galaxy? So we're gamifying music creation with AI and sounds to then create almost like Tetris, you know, as it's coming down. You're creating blocks and then that plays different sounds in the game. So on Roblox, we're creating a game for Jam Galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. Jam Galaxy has my robot. Yes. Grace. Yes. The multiple, multiple ones. Also, what I spoke about earlier and what we would probably talk about tomorrow, paintojoy.com, augmenting human purpose into AI. And that's what I did my thesis on a long time ago. And that was in China. And so for me, understanding human purpose and AI ethics through the lens of how we understand pain, physical and non-physical pain, for understanding and teaching AI what it means to be human through grit, empathy, and culture. So that is that quantification of helping push through and visualizing that in image form. And so I can show you. So visualizing that and then in a generative AI, being able to then see this, like visually see your pain to joy journey. And I'll share it later. But seeing that visuals and you say, oh, I was bullied in high school and I need to visually see that. So past, present, future, beginning, middle and end. You being able to see heart, intellect, AI's heart is basically the same as purpose. So you know your purpose, you know your heart intellect. Others know your purpose, and know others' purpose, that heart intellect. So AI is heart, you need a heart. So you life DNA who I am, where I'm going, the daily desire, at what I, where I'm going. So this is my basically future, this is understanding my past. I knew I couldn't understand my, uh, my future until understanding my past. Yeah, so those pains, those pains that I went through, that helps me in the daily journey. And that's basically your weekly process of going through what you gamify. And it's like a pendulum going through. So that's helping a framework to teach AI how you're able to go through pain. Also for an individual, as a, as a human, but then it, you teach it to actually understand what it means to be human through that physical and non-physical. So it could be anxiety, you need peace, if you, depression, joy, fear, faith, whatever that is, that's the process. So we have pain, suffering, perseverance, character, hope, and then mindsets, those unconditional love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. And that is the opposite and understanding what it is and what it is not. So peace, anxiety, joy, depression, fear, faith, you need whatever you're lacking to quantify and understand the baseline of that. Wow. So that's, so this is the, so peace, if I'm out of a thousand waking minutes, mm -hmm. so if I go to bed at 7.40 a.m. and uh, uh, I, I wake up at 7.40 a.m. and go to bed at 12 midnight, mm -hmm. that's a thousand waking minutes. So one person is 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I need to quantify like losing weight or gaining weight. Mm -hmm. You're able to understand where you're going. So the peace is the lack of anxiety. So if I'm going through the pain of anxiety, I know I need more peace. So you're always understanding, quantifying the physical and non-physical. Physical is actually much easier to quantify than even non-physical because non-physical is more abstract. Did you come to Korea to show this? No, elements? no, but I would love to. I would love yeah. to come. I think that most people understand pain in various ways. So they relate. It's a universal thing. But no one has quantified it in a way that we can then teach AI to then help us with that. Wow. It's very important, I think. Yeah. It's very important. Who are your AI developers? Uh, no, that's, for us, we're taking uh, the most successful AI out there and then just creating imaging right now to visualize being able to take this and to understand, to visually come and have everyone in the world create their own pain to joy story. So they can visualize it themselves. 
So the tech is actually already out there. So we can just visualize. So eventually we will then augment it into AI and then it make it smarter and smarter. But those data sets haven't been structured. Like, for example, your husband and wife. A husband can't truly know his wife until she first knows him herself. Right? So we need a baseline of what it means to be human and that psychology and the neuroscience. So that baseline is what we're going and focusing on. So we have enough data sets of those visuals. It's like Lady Gaga, she had anxiety in her high school, she was bullied. Oh, 100,000 of her fans also had that, right? And AA, there's a lot of people that have drinking problems, right? And it's just that focus, that narrow focus of going through that AA. So that's where we're having globally, everyone that has different pain points, alcohol, I mean, addiction, everything. Like, oh, I was bullied, I, I death in the family, I was divorced. Everyone has various pains. So each one has different pain points and it goes deep. And then I can relate, oh, we must also have back problems, maybe, all to both of us. And then we both see, oh, how do we go through the back problems together in a better way? And I share my knowledge with you. Now the AI collectively does that. And now you collectively unite around the pain points that you're focusing on. Uh, and that's important for it to be human because literally the lowest common denominator for anything, like for government, for business, anything, the lowest common denominator for solving for cancer even is an individual, right? When you solve for X, for solve for a government problem or for a business problem or anything, it's always the lowest common denominator is your individual self. And so if we augment based on you, heart, soul, mind, and body, then we're augmenting collectively what that is holistically and then we're quantifying what that is to then teach AI so then it can help us and we improve better together. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because everyone wants to be a better person, right? Everyone. So then if that, it can't tell us how to be better if we don't quantify it. Because the AI is only as good as the data we input, right? So this is what well, we have to, if we want to be better, if I want to be a better basket, a better football player, a better basketball player, then we have to actually put the rules and the structure into how to be a better shooter, how to be a better thrower. Like, does that make sense? So this is a mirror for us to see ourselves truly. So the biases, we try to have as least biases as possible. So then the AI can help us without as, because we ourselves have biases. So that's why we have to be self-aware. So the more self-aware we are, that's why with AI helping us become self-aware, then we can truly fix what we may never see ourselves. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's a very good approach. I think Koreans yeah. may like it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Korean yes, I would love this. And I'm coming out with the book finally, after 10 years, I'm finally coming with the book. My thesis back, way back when, my manifesto, now I would love to do a book launch in, in Korea with you. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, That would be very good, yeah. And I can, yeah, I can share. Yeah, yeah, I can share. Yeah, yeah, I can share with you. Paint. Yeah, and then that's the website. And I'm uh, going to be launching a new website in about a month. Pain2joy.com. That's the website. So then we can, uh, I can have it in, if you have enough, we can have it in Korean eventually, you know. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, I would love to collaborate and love to help Korea and really have a conversation like you bring the conversation to, together if people want to augment themselves and and humans right like i want a part of this a part of that then we need to have the conversation of what is the baseline for that right so if they say i need something to help me with peace what does that look like in your life right and so that's there yeah yeah